Sorry I missed last night, guys. I just... My back was killing me. I finally got something for my kidneys. I got uh, some Azo, and I got me some cranberry juice. Uh, diet cranberry juice or whatever, and I've been drinking that, and I'm feeling better. Back's not hurting as near as bad today as it was last night. So, it's helping. Um, yeah. I know, I've had kidney issues my whole life, so I kind of know ahead of time what's happening. Um, so I've had a pretty good idea. When I, when my back starts hurting and I'm not having any issues with my kidneys per se, but my back starts hurting and I know my lower back starts hurting, I don't drink enough water. That's what it is. I know that's what it is. If water in my coffee, making my coffee counts, then yeah, I drink enough water, but otherwise, no, I don't. Uh, I drink coffee, I switch from regular coffee, mid-afternoon if it's hot, I switch to iced coffee. Um, at night, I drink one 20-ounce Pepsi, but my water intake is slim to none. So, I know that's what it is. I need to drink more water. Um, and I'm going to try to start being more mindful of that as well. But, yeah, that, I know when my back starts hurting, and I'm a pretty good idea that unless I know I did something to it, then... It's my kidneys. So, I'm back. Feeling better. Uh, it is two days till Halloween here. And I've got a Halloween project I want to do. It is Silly Sunday. So, um, I'm going to do... I haven't done this yet. I've had it for a while and I haven't done it yet. The coffin mold. I did pour some like leftover resin in it. And it didn't really turn out too great. I wasn't too thrilled at how it looked. So, um, needless to say, I, didn't never, I, never, I don't think I ever made the top for it. So, what we're going to do tonight is, back years ago, and still, I watch it on Prime, Amazon. Uh, I watch uh, Dark Shadows. It was a gothic soap opera. In fact, my, if you guys could see my wallpaper on my phone, it's Barnabas Collins. He's a vampire. And uh, when Willie finds him, he's been locked in a coffin for 200 years. And... When they find the coffin, it's chained shut. I was trying to find my regular chain, but all I can find is this one. So what I'm going to do is, after I make the coffin, um, I'm going to put Barnabas in there. But I am going to put a couple chains on it. I'm going to wrap them around it. But I'm going to put him on the inside after it's made. And, uh, yeah. So you, you, I'm not going to fasten the chain permanently. I'm just going to wrap it around several times to make it look like it's fastened. But if I want to take it off, I could take it off. And, uh, I'm going to actually use some of this distress. They're like stamp pads. I'm going to use them. I have a couple different colors here. And we're actually going to make it look like it's aged. Uh, when they find him, this coffin that he's in in the, my, in the family mausoleum or crypt or whatever, is like a stone looking almost so I'm gonna do this gray and uh, I think after I'm done using the gray I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna kind of distress it take a brush and kind of distress the corners and the edges and stuff and uh, same way with this we're gonna I'm gonna use something and I'm gonna kind of distress this to make this look like it's old too like it's an old chain that's been wrapped around it so, I'm going to put you guys on pause. Sorry, I'm going to mix up my resin and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're back. So, I'm going to mix some of this mica powder in here. Stirred up really, really good here. Hello. 
little silvery. I wonder if I had to put a shot of brown in it. I think maybe I'm going to because I don't want it quite so silvery. It's supposed to look like old concrete. So let's maybe put. What do I want to put in it? What do I want to put in it? decide what color to put in it that might make it maybe a green let's do a little bit of green in here I'm not putting a whole lot in there I'm just going to put a little bit and see what it does That's better. Still want to stir it really, really good though. Alright, so we're going to bring these over here a little bit. I'll move these out of the way. Move all this so I can use it later to age everything. I got enough resin made up. I made up six ounces. I feel like it should be because it's not that deep, really. some in the wood. Alright. I'll make sure I don't have any air bubbles down here in this corner of the lid. And we're just going to go around all the edges here. Make sure we have no bubbles at the bottom. All right. Perfect. everything stopped up like it needs to be get down here at eye level and look but this could handle just a tiny tiny bit more
perfect. All right. I have a mold here I can pour into. Perfect. All right. So I'm going to put this, put you guys on a pause, and we'll come back when it's time to demold it, and we will put Barnabas in it and distress it and chain him in there. All right, we'll be back in just a little bit, guys. Bye. Hey, guys, we're back. How are y'all doing? We ready to demold this? Uh, all right, that's cool. I hope I get that design on the front. Kind of looks like stone. So, did any of you guys watch Dark Shadows years ago? And if so, who was your favorite character? Was it Barnabas? Was it Clinton? Oh, that's cool. Uh, I had a bubble there I missed. had one here, but that's alright, because this is supposed to look like a 200-year-old coffin, so. Oh. Yeah, Barnabas didn't want to be a vampire. It wasn't my choice. It was called Petty Revenge After a Breakup. <laughs> Legitimately. That's how you know it was a soap opera. Because the witch was mad because he pretty much dumped her and decided she was going to put a curse on him. And the curse was he was going to be a vampire the rest of his life and never have anybody to love him. So he ends up getting opened up 200 years later, and he wants to be cured. It's a pretty good show. It was, and I watched, you can watch the whole series on Amazon Prime. So I have started rewatching it. And this is the perfect time of year to do that. It's around Halloween. Huh. So I don't know if I'm going to peel this sticker off. Yeah, I think I am. Because I don't want him warping in here. I printed it off on my sticker paper for my, that I use for my tumblers. There we go. Barnabas in his coffin. Now, coffin lid is on. I think I'm going to use this one. It's a stamp pad, archival ink. This one is what color? Ground Espresso. Yeah, Ground Espresso. any on at all I can't see a whole lot all right let's try the black then let's see what we get with the black maybe the brown is just not showing up because it's not dark enough Hmm. 
Still not seeing it. There we go. Now let me brush it on. Let's try this espresso again. We're going to try it the same way as this. So we're going to dab it on. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, much better. Yeah. Now we're getting some age look here. There we go. That looks pretty good. Now, let me do the side a little bit here. We're just going to do this. I'm just going to get it in the corners here. There we go. This is looking good. Yes. Right. That turned out good. So we have Barnabas in his coffin. And, uh, I'm sorry, Barnabas. We're gonna have to chain you up. That kind of feels wrong, considering he's my favorite character. I kind of felt sorry for him. Especially when you find out how he became a vampire. You're like, oh, man. Legitimately wasn't his fault. I guess that most vampires kind of that's their story They get bit by somebody that turns them into one so Not like most of them chose it
age some of this chain here. I feel like I might need a little bit of maybe this color here. Kind of rust it up a little bit. Gracious. They use dull or what? <laughs> they must be dull. Alright, let's see if I can cut it with scissors. Yeah, okay. So. here. Probably not good for my scissors, I know. Alright, now let's see if we can wrap this chain around it and get it to stay on without... I really don't want to glue it on. I might tack it on with some UV resin. Lightly. We're just going to tack it. Actually, I actually think I have a padlock I can put on there too. A little fake one. This one. All right. Okay. I'm going to look right quick and see if I have that padlock. Because I feel like I do. Perfect. All right. Yeah, there it is. 
keys in here. The cars. I thought there was a padlock though. This is where I saw a padlock in here. I guess they're all keys. Yeah, I guess they're all keys. Huh. That's funny. That almost looks like Barnabas's cane. Cane's got a wolf head on the top of it. That almost looks like it. I think I'm going to put that on there. We're going to put that on there. Yeah, we're going to put that on there. I think that's a nice touch right here. Okay, hang on. Let's sit on here. If anybody ever opens this, they'll find Barnabas inside. <laughs> Maybe hundreds of years from now, somebody will open this up and be like, oh, what's in this little thing chained up? <laughs> like a time machine to be like, what is this in here? <laughs> It'd be funny. I guess if I was going to seal it shut, I really didn't need to put him in there, but I kind of, I like knowing he's in there. Because I know he is, so. Alright, guys. Here we go. Barnabas is coughing, and he is in it right now. So if you like this video, guys, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, we do silly things on Silly Sunday, so. Which include dark shadows, memories. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope everyone has a wonderful night. Hope your resin cures beautifully. Your craft projects turn out amazing. I hope you're all happy, healthy, safe, and blessed. And I will see you all tomorrow night. Bye.